ill-advised. Any questions? Yeah, I got a question. Does Barry Manilow know that you raid his wardrobe? I'll give you the answer to that question, Mr. Bender, next Saturday. Don't mess with the bull, young man. You'll get the horns. That man is a brownie hound. Look, you guys keep up your talking, and Vernon's gonna come right in here. I gotta meet this Saturday. I'm not gonna miss it on the count of you boneheads. Oh, and wouldn't that be a bite, huh? Whoa, missing a whole wrestling meet. Well, you wouldn't know anything about it, faggot. You've never competed in your whole life. Oh, I know. I feel all empty inside because of it. I have such a deep admiration for guys who roll around on the floor with other guys. Ah, uh, you'd never miss it. You don't have any goals. Oh, but I do. Yeah? I want to be just like you. I figure all I need's a lobotomy and some tights. You're not fooling anybody, Bender. The next screw that falls out is gonna be you. Me, What was that? Eat my shorts. You just bought yourself another Saturday, mister. Oh, I'm crushed. You just bought one more right there. Well, I'm free the Saturday after that. Beyond that, I'm gonna have to check my calendar. Good, because it's gonna be filled. We'll keep going. You want another one? Say the word, just say the word. Instead of going to prison, you'll come here. Are you through? No. I'm doing society a favor. So? That's another one right now. I've got you for the rest of your natural born life if you don't watch your step. You want another one? Yes. You got it. You got another one right there. That's another one, pal. Cut it out. You through? Not even close, bud. Good. You got one more right there. You really think I give a shit? Another. You through? How many is that? That's seven, including the one when we first came in. You asked Mr. Vernon here whether Barry Manilow knew that he raided his closet. What's that? Sushi. Sushi? <laughs> Rice, uh, raw fish, and seaweed. You won't accept a guy's tongue in your mouth and you're gonna eat that? Can I eat? I don't know. Give it a try. All right. What about your family? Oh, mine? Yeah. It's real easy. Stupid, worthless, no good, goddamn freeloading son of a bitch, retarded, big mouth, know it all, asshole, jerk. You forgot ugly, lazy, and disrespectful. Shut up, bitch! Who fixed me turkey pot pie? What about you, Dad? Fuck you. No, Dad. What about you? Fuck you! No, Dad! What about you? Fuck you! How do you know where Vernon went? I don't. Well, then how do you know when he'll be back? I don't. Being bad feels pretty good, huh? Slob. My maid's on vacation. It's drugs. Screw that bender. Put it back. It's drugs. Boy has marijuana. That was marijuana. Great idea, Jagger. Fuck you. Fuck you. Why are you looking at John? We're dead. No. Just me. What do you mean? Get back to the library. Keep You're doing it. Oh.
naked blonde walks into a bar with a poodle under one arm and a two-foot salami under the other. She lays the poodle on the table. The bartender says, I suppose you won't be needing a drink. The naked lady says, Oh, shit! Jesus Christ Almighty! Forgot my pencil. name is going on in here. What was that ruckus? Uh, what ruckus? I was just in my office and I heard a ruckus. Could you describe the ruckus, sir? Watch your tongue, young man. Watch it. Oh. Huh? What is this? What is that? What? What is that? What is that noise? What noise? Really, sir, there wasn't any noise. <gasps> That noise? Was that the noise that you're talking about? No, it wasn't. That was not the noise I was talking about. Now, I may not have caught you in the act this time, but you can bet I will. <coughs> you make book on that, Missy. And you, I will not be made a fool of. Smart, you know, because I thought, you know, I'll take shopping. It'd be such an easy way to maintain my grade point average. Why'd you think it'd be easy? Have you seen some of the dopes that take shop? I take shop. You must be a fucking idiot. I'm a fucking idiot because I can't make a lamp? No, you're a genius because you can't make a lamp. What do you know about trigonometry? I could care less about trigonometry. Bender, did you know without trigonometry, there'd be no engineering? Without lamps, there'd be no light. Okay, so neither one of you is any better than the other one. I can write with my toes. <laughs> Except the fact that we had to sacrifice a whole Saturday in detention for whatever it was we did wrong. But we think you're crazy to make us write an essay telling you who we think we are. And you see us as you want to see us. In the simplest terms, with the most convenient definitions. But what we found out is that each one of us is a brain. And an athlete. And a basket case. A princess. And a criminal. Does that answer your question? Sincerely yours, The Breakfast Club. Don't, don't, don't.